We started using AI about 18 months ago at Asgalarius and we initially went to our staff and did a, a staff survey about what platforms they were using, how it was helping them and I collated all that information together and it helped us form a, a kind of a strategic plan because we thought it was really important to look at it at a strategic level first of all, how the leadership group in the school should use AI in the classroom, the potential benefits but also look at the pitfalls that we could come into. In the curriculum area, we knew that AI was starting to help staff spend much less time on planning and assessments. They were using AI quite creatively to look at schemes of learning, help develop lesson on lesson resources based on what happened in that lesson and identifying how students could progress using AI in a more efficient manner. And because that was taking them less time, they had more time then to actually work with students, look at the work they were producing, have conversations in the classroom, Mae defnydd o ddiallusrwydd artificial wedi cynyddu cryn dipyn dros y ddwy flynyddwetha. Felly oherwydd hyn a bod y defnydd wedi cynyddu o ddydd i ddydd mewn bywyd uh, tu allan i'r ysgol, mewn bwysig bod ni fel addysgwyr yn paratoi i'r plant ar gyfer y dyfodol. Felly rydyn nhw wedi paratoi ac wedi treialu sawl strategaeth a sawl um, policy ar gyfer y newidiaeth ma. Fel arweinydd, dwi wedi rhoi cyfle i'r ymarferwyr a'r disgwyr i ddefnyddio AI i gefnogi elfennau o arwynyddiaeth, cynllunio a chefnogi'r dysgu, ac wrth gwrs i ysbrydoli'r disgwyr. Mae'n bwysig bod nhw'n datblygu i sgiliau yn greadigol a bod nhw'n paratoi nhw ar gyfer y dyfodol. Back in March 2023, we began a whole school inquiry project with all teachers involved, all about how we can ensure truly inclusive classrooms and thinking in innovative ways. As part of that research inquiry project, one of our members of staff was looking at how use of AI can support differentiation. Within our classrooms, more and more, we're responsible for children with very different abilities. Using AI has helped dramatically how we plan to ensure that we're truly inclusive to all of our pupils. Being able to so quickly and easily differentiate resources for children's reading ages um, makes the lessons for our uh, learners with weak literacy skills so accessible. They're able to go in, they're able to feel part of the lesson, they understand what they're reading, they don't have the shame of sat there feeling that they're the only person in that class that doesn't know what's going on and they're able to interact and that just helps boost their confidence, their engagement with the teachers, it just really reaps benefits for their self-worth and their self-esteem. The advancements in AI over the last couple of years offer some fantastic opportunities. I'm working with children who are at sort of a developmental age, I would say maybe anywhere between sort of zero to 18 months and so the challenge is how can I use AI to effectively kind of engage with the learners rather than it becomes something that's a little bit more passive. I think AI offers a really nice opportunity for personalised learning really for these kids as well because they've got very complex neurological needs, medical needs, you know they have feeding plans, they have occupational therapy programmes, physiotherapy programmes, speech and language programmes as well as other therapies. For my research project, I decided to track year 13 use of AI because this was quite new to us last September. Over the year, I've learned a lot, pupils have learned a lot, and now that's why I'm bringing it into my lessons to teach them how to use it. So I first went into year 13 and I hadn't taught the group before, and on their first piece of work, nearly every single pupil in there had an 80% or above count for AI in the AI detector that I used. And that brought up for all of us a good learning experience of the dangers of AI, and you can use AI to help you, but not at the detriment of not doing the work yourself. We should be teaching them to question the answers they're getting from AI. Through the school improvement planning process, every member of the teaching team has a voice within. So from that, we conducted a planned array of activities to support staff development. So from demonstrating several AI tools, also really being explicit with the ethics of using AI, there is a relevant and appropriate curriculum which is designed to, to, to work with AI and also to teach children the ethics, uh, making sure there's safe use of the internet. And actually, with AI in particular, is interrogating the output, making sure that output is relevant, even with a sense of bias. So it's not just like 
you know, it's children and teachers accept the output as it is, you need to further interrogate it. Um, it has to be in alignment with the bus curriculum, the progression steps. Uh, it's got to be purposeful for education.